Hey guys, it's Freddie here from Draft Nights. Have you ever wanted to start your own podcast? If so, Anchor is the easiest way to do so. Let me explain. First of all, it's free. There's a creation tool that allows you to record and edit your podcast either on your phone or your computer. Anchor allows you to distribute your podcast all over social media, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. You can make money off your podcast with no minimum listenership. So it has everything you need to get started. If you want to join the podcast family, all you have to do is download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. See you soon. And boom, baby. Welcome to the show, everyone. Welcome to Draft Nights. Is your host, Freddie, with my good old co-host, Michael. Say what's up, Michael. Yo, what's going on, people? All right. Today is um, March 15th, 2020. We apologize for the late um, podcast. We did one. When they, and it was great, but then we had some technical difficulties, which erased everything that we did. So it was a huge bummer at the end. And um, but, but it was amazing. But uh, we're back now. We apologize for everybody trying to get back to you know giving you guys a great show and everything like that. So before we get started, just want to put this out there. Just follow us on um, Twitter on Draft Night Draft Night Pod, um, our at Draft Night Pod. We are on Anchor Podcast, Google Podcast, Spotify, Breaker, um, Overcast, Pocket Cast, and Radio Public. Look at that, Mike man. We are growing. Jeez, we I are not- growing. <laughs> yes, sir. So, um, we usually talk about sports. We was going to talk about the UFC and um, Zhang Wei Ling versus Joanna. Uh, let's go through it real quick, Mike. Let's go through that real quick. Amazing fight. Right, People see. shouldn't see it. Um, um, let me just go first. Amazing fight. Fight. People should see it. Rewatch it. That fight was uh, the fight for the history books. Um, these girls went at it. They. It was just five rounds, five minutes each round of straight up blows a brawl a these girls going at it man there was so many punches landed like it like it was like over 500 punches like or over 500 yeah, I think over 500 so thrown I think they landed over over 250 or something like that it was like two Ridiculous. something like Ridiculous. each right like each yeah, yeah. No, no no not each no it was like 120 no? 30 each yeah, they got like 120, 130 each. Bro, that is but, I mean, insane. Compared to the guys fighting, you know, the guys each got only 40. One guy got 40, one got 44. So it was like, compared to the guys fighting, those girls were getting busy. Yeah, like um, Mike was talking about the Israel Adesanya fight versus the Yo- Yoel Romero fight. Everybody thought That's that it. fight was going to be... Uh, epic. Everybody thought that fight was going to be just like so great. It wasn't. It was a snooze fest. If you guys going to watch that fight, forget that fight. Just don't even worry about yeah. it. I know Joe Rogan would be Joe like Rogan, the whole thing in the trash. It was the whole trash. I know Joe Rogan would, would disagree with us and everything like that, but as people who aren't in depth with the UFC and stuff like that, listen, I don't really give a damn. Okay, I don't care. I don't care if I can't analyze or whatever the hell with the UFC. I know a whack fight or a boring, boring fight when I saw seeing one, and that was a boring fight. Okay, the Israel Adesanya fight versus the Yoel Romero fight that was a boring fight, but the Zhang Wei Ling fight and the Joanna fight that shit is for the history books. That was a great fight. That's what I want to see. That's what that's what the customer wants to see. And you know what? It's what the customer wants to see. It's always the customer's always right. So, right, that's the best fight. And the last thing I'm gonna say about sports because right now, um, everything is bad. Everything is down right now because of the um, 
damn coronavirus. Uh, yeah, the coronavirus. Everything's suspended. They even suspended golf, bro. Believe that. Yeah, they, 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 they listen. They just canceled school for my kids for the next three weeks. They're not going <laughs> back to school. This is really serious out here. Yeah, man. But yeah, man. Yeah. Um, what was you gonna say about it? Um, I was gonna talk about um Skip Bayless and his haterade for Trey Young and Luka Doncic. I'm gonna go straight up, just real quick with it. So the thing is, if you guys haven't seen it and undisputed, if you look up um uh, Skip Bayless talking about Trey Young is being the fastest player to hit 350 career um, three point shots, and he's on like only on his second or third year, right? Like his second yeah. year, right, Trey Young. Yeah. So yeah. Skip Bayless just for some reason talks about everything else but that topic. The topic is: Are we winning? Like Trey Young becomes fastest player to make 350 career three pointers. Are we witnessing one of the best shooters of all time? Trey, I mean, uh, Skip Bayless talking about every other thing about Trey Young's game except for that. Which is ridiculous to me. Like, come on. He you have... Yo, he Listen, does that all how the he, time. That's how someone to build... If they, I can't even blame him anymore. That's how he builds his career, man. He builds his career tearing down other people. You know what I mean? So, whatever, man. I'm to the like, point where I, I, I know what he does and I don't even care anymore. <laughs> this is crazy, bro. Like, he talks about how the Atlantic Hawks aren't winning. He talks about how Trey Young's uh, uh, not doing well in, like, the fourth quarter and everything like that. Like, dude, that had nothing to do with the topic at hand. We're talking about Trey Young being the fastest player, 350 career three-pointers, and are we witnessing one of the best shooters of all time? Because who would have blamed you if you just gave the man his flowers and just said, you know what? Yeah, you know, he did get that. Right. He absolutely right. got it. He, he absolutely did that. It's ridiculous, bro. For what you reason? Know, even yeah. though I don't think he's the best or whatever, he yeah. got it. He could, he right, he got it. it. Yeah. 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 He just can't give him credit. But like, yo, listen, you know, you know what? He might just be. He was like, yo, he might just be because he's doing X, Y, and Z. You know what I'm saying? This is true. These the, uh, the stats don't lie. The numbers don't lie. You know what I'm saying? But unfortunately, this is not helping his team win games and stuff like that. You could say that right. legitimate, but you don't even give the man props for nothing. And then we have Skip Bayless talking about Luca. Check this out. Luca gets need in the face. The man is at the three-point line, and he gets kneed in the face, and he complains because the ref don't call a foul. He gets hit so obvious in the face with a knee, and the refs don't call it. What kind of ridiculous Ishmael is that? In, but that. That type of stuff happens in the NBA. You gotta let it ride. But to that just, you get kneed you know, in the face at the three point line, Mike. That you get kneed in the face at the three point line. That shit just happens, and you don't get a call. And you don't get a call, a foul call on you for that. It happens. Yo, it's I the feel NBA, like man. there's no. <laughs> I think that only happens. It only happen to Luca for some reason, yo. It'll only yo. I can't believe it, yo. I can't believe what it. What are you saying? It's reverse race, racism? I don't know what it is. I never brought up race. You brought up race, so don't bring that all up on me, bro. All I'm saying is, it, it's just, I never, see, yo, I never seen that before. Where a man could get hit, kneed in the face at the three-point line. Mike, he's at the three-point line, Mike. He's at the top of the key. He's at the top of the key, Mike. He does a pump fake. The dude jumps in the air he tries to go around them and he gets kneed in the face. Accidentally. He don't get a, accidentally, yeah, right. But that's a flagrant one, at least. Flagrant two is a um a purposeful um you know what I'm saying, foul. 
accidental is a flagrant, flagrant one because you get need in the Maybe face. Maybe he was out of position. You don't know. He was not out of position, Mike. The ref, the ref could have been out of position, man. Oh man, yeah, you're right. The ref, the ref could have been out of position, but goddamn, at least he could have reviewed it because the man stopped in his tracks and fell down. You could have just been like, "Whoa!" And don't they fucking don't the NBA have somebody on the sidelines? You know, like a referee on the side just watching the uh, the reviews or something like that, and just be like, "Yo, this just happened there, bro. Like, this is the reason why the man is on the floor." Anyway, anyway, so it's all undisputed, right? Skip Bills look, talking about Luca getting in the face. And again, Skip Bills talks about everything else other than him getting in the face. Everything else. Talking about how Luca doesn't do well in the fourth quarter. He talks about Luca like he talks about LeBron, pretty much. He says, oh, he's crying like LeBron cries. Yo. I don't know. I don't understand. Like, I don't understand at this point. Like, you could get hit in the face, but you can't. You can't. And then the ref don't call on it, and you not. You can't complain about it. It's ridiculous. I don't know how you feel about it, Mike, but it's, that's just ridiculous. I hear you. I heard how I feel about it. You know, it, it happens, man. It happens. It shouldn't it happen. You know. It shouldn't happen, yo. It definitely shouldn't happen, but you know, what you gonna do when it happens. Luca did cry, like you know, just fucking cry complain like to the rest. Not even cry like a baby, just complain to the rest. I'll be all up in the rest's face. Like, how are you not gonna fucking call? And what he get for that, I'll... though? Huh? What he get for that? Who Luca? Yeah. Not the he... Jack Squad. Well, he... And sometimes, like, if you complain about the refs, um, like, after a game or like that, you could get, like, fined from the NBA or something like that. Right. But it's just ridiculous, man. It's just, I mean, it, even though, if it was me, I would I would complain. I don't know about you, man, but nobody's going to knee me in my face and all they're going to say anything about it. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? You ain't just we ain't gonna ball up and then you gonna knee me in my face and then I ain't gonna say nothing about it, bro. <laughs> Could you imagine, man? Could you imagine just being in the park, just balling up, ball it, and you're at the three point line and then you do a pump fake, the dude just fucking jumps in the air but then knees you in the face. You're not gonna say, you're not gonna call a foul, you're not gonna say anything. Well, hey man, come on, man. The basketball boys is <laughs> getting a little better, but yeah, man. Next, next subject. Man. <laughs> All right. So, because of coronavirus, we don't really have much to talk about. Um. Oh. Um. Dak Prescott was offered. Uh, in the NFL, he was offered by the Cowboys thirty-three million a year and a hundred and five million guaranteed you know what's interesting oh also the nba cba i mean not nba cba nfl cba was um agreed to by the players did you hear about this mike no yeah the nba players um yeah the nfl players they um decided to um they elected to take the terms that was offered to them by the owners. So, garbage. There's gonna be, and it's starting from the 21, 21, 2021 season. It's gonna be 17 games instead of 16 games. Um, and what else? Oh, they're also going to raise the um. The, the player share from like 47% to 48.5%. Um, I think they're no longer going to be testing for marijuana and that the fines 
um, players get, like all on the field or off the field, are gonna be reduced. Nice. So I they got that, a little victory in there. That's just that's just shitty. Oh, in my in my view, they they fought so hard. They, in my opinion, well, how do you feel about this? Do you think the NFL should have a salary cap or not? Yeah, so come. I mean, I think they shouldn't. I think they shouldn't because the owners shouldn't just get to keep all the money, all the rest of the money like this. They don't do anything. You know what I mean? Right. Especially, especially owners like, like, uh, well, I know this is basketball, but owners like uh, football, 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 the Knicks. Oh, the, I, I know. I'm sorry. I know, but this, I'm just relating to a a, a a terrible owner like the uh, James Dolan or somebody like that. If somebody like that were to be would it be in charge of, of of your money and your everyday? Like that wouldn't I, that wouldn't bode well with me. I'd rather get my money up front. Like you know, what if an organization were to do bad? Now we gotta not get paid or like you know what I mean? If there if there if there was a cap, I can ask for whatever money I want and get whatever I needed. You know what I mean? Like there, there's there's tons of positions that end up getting screwed over, like the offensive line. You know, well, defensive line doesn't get screwed over anymore, but you know what I mean. Yeah, the offensive line usually get, is the first ones to get screwed over, and those guys could easily get paid more now. Easily, these guys make billions of dollars. The NFL is a billion dollar, billions of billions of dollar corporations, corporation, and they have plenty right. of money to give to, to to pay people. Look at look at the uh, the MLB. Like baseball, they don't. They don't have a cap. They pay everyone, and they still and they don't have like the 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 audience that football has, and they still find a way to pay everyone. It's crazy. Agreed. All I'm Agreed. saying is, it's most definitely possible for you to have for you to have a a NFL uh, NFL with no cap. Most definitely possible, but NFL owners are greedy. And can I get into a tangent real quick? I want to talk about like, like there's also like, why isn't it there any first first of all any black coaches like that? Like we have maybe a few less than less than less than a handful, but right. not to, not 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 even that. But why isn't there any black owners? There's no black owners. This is all slave slave mentality sometimes when I think about it. That's all I get sometimes. It's just, I don't know. I just feel People like, wanna... you know, they, they're, 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 they're setting control over it and they're not trying to let us in. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, I, I, I hope, I'll fight for whoever is trying to get a team. I know that, that there was a bunch of, uh, I know this is basketball again. I'm sorry, but there was a bunch of people trying to get together to buy the Clippers when the Clippers were, you know, going up for the market. I right. I think the next time an NFL team goes up for the market is going to be a bunch of you know African American uh, business owners, businessmen that can really get it done and get in there and, and buy a team, and change the face, and change the the way the uh, NFL works from the inside, like Jay Z. Yeah. Like um, I find out new and new and crazy things about the NFL like every year. Like the the Giants, like they what what they had uh Gito Smith, like what was it like a year or two ago when he started? Mm-hmm. That was the first time they started a black quarterback. Like, are you serious? Like 2018. <laughs> well, they had like started. Eli for like man long. Doesn't matter, bro. I hear you. I hear you, my brother. All right, so last, the last team to ever start one. Supposedly, last year, supposedly, the NFL dispersed $8.78 billion to its clubs from the money it made last year. What, so, was, that? what, was, that? what was that number again? Eight point what? $8.78 billion. So it was like seventy eight hundred million, not seven hundred eighty, seven hundred eighty 
million. So it's like eight billion seven hundred eighty million dollars yeah. was in revenue to its clubs from the money it made last year. It dispersed. So it's the they're, but they're saying that they roughly made sixteen billion in revenue last year. Jeez. Yeah. Yep. And they're planning on making more. It's supposed to be going up more and more. Yes, it does. Um, yeah. Baseball, maybe. MLB, right? MLB. Okay, yeah. Well, just to, just to add something else about uh, sports real quick before we go ahead and switch subjects, but uh, I wanted to add something about the NBA that I heard. I heard that they're going to cut. They, they might cut to the playoffs when they come back after this, this little break they're taking because it's suspended right now, the NBA. And they might, I heard they might come back and say, hey, we're, we're in the playoffs now. We're not going to extend the season from here. We're just going to run it to like the playoffs started now. Okay. Or whatever teams have well, the best record. Well, that should make sense to me. Yeah. yeah. It's like whatever teams sense. have the best record. You know what I mean? They get the, they get the, uh, yeah. 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 Um, baseball made ten point seven billion in revenue last year. So, uh, but they're saying, I don't know. The, uh, uh, some of the people that disagree with me about NFL, me saying the NFL should have no um, salary cap. And how I say, well, the N- the MLB doesn't have a salary cap, so why should the NFL? You know what I'm saying? Some people yeah. say, well, it's because like um, the MLB has a lot more games than the NFL, and I'm just like, and so like you know, so I'm just like, so what? Like, do they have the same amount of do they have the same amount of players? You know what I'm saying? Like, how many how many players players? I'm gonna talk about this because we only in, we have like our podcast and we're only at 21 minutes, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just pushing this, pushing this, pushing this. How many players play the sport podcast? Sorry. Yeah, man. But yeah, right. so right. I just Wait, I just hope that about 25. Okay, how many fucking rosters? Hold on, hold on. So. 750 slots. There are 750 roster slots open at any given day. How many players are in the MLB put together? Yeah. So 750 baseball players? Really? Go ahead, Mike. I'm 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 gonna look this up and then you go. You just go ahead. Right, all right. So Listen, I hope that it comes back. I, I think right now, it's pretty much the same way I think it would finish out. Um, only difference, I think, you know, the people battling in for the eighth place position, you know, maybe Utah, I mean, not Utah, uh, Denver or Memphis, or somebody, somebody in a low position like that, or maybe the Pelicans could have pulled it off. And then came back, but I don't know. You know, well, it sucks to suck. You know what I'm saying? It sucks right. to suck. That's what I would tell. That's what, that's what I would tell those. I mean, they players. didn't. They didn't. They didn't suck. Back I mean, they were teams. pulling it together. I think they were just pulling it together too late. Um, Zion, they kept they kept resting Zion um, throughout the year, I and mean, that's also coaching coaching problems too. So, but you know, he's young. They're not really worried about losing or sucking this year, how you said it. Um, they, I think they're more or less more concerned with uh, longevity and getting the team uh, sync in sync together with each other. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, if they can't work with, with Zion, then it's really not going to work as a team. Okay, hold on. 25 players on each of 30 teams. So, what's 25 times 30, bro? Oh, jeez, bro. I can't. uh... Anyway, 
Back to yeah. the let's do the the um one's gotta go. Give me a second. Give me one second, my man. You have them written, so I kinda need you to yeah, start. Seven hundred and fifty. There's seven hundred and fifty players in the and the uh in baseball and there's like fifteen hundred. I think it's because there's more games played in baseball than there is in NFL that there's people that would disagree with that uh that a um Salary cap should not be on. I mean, well, a salary cap should be on the NFL because otherwise, um, owners would just buy all the best players and then they would just win all the time. That's what nah. I can't. Well, I'm, get. my my mind state is think uh, to think. Well, my mind state when I think about it is, well, the players need the money because they get hurt more than a baseball yeah. player. Needs does so they yeah. would need that money for like more guarantee you know what I mean Agreed. Where they don't have to worry about playing through an injury or something like that brother. okay I agree I agree alright so this is the part of the show where we go to one's gotta go this is a segment that Mike came up with where we have uh Different topics. I came up with. I came up with it by listening to a different podcast. Righteous and righteous. Damn, bro! You stealing over here? I'm not stealing over. We're not stealing. (laughs) We're using. We're just borrowing it. But I did give a shout out, so I think that's enough to use it. What? What what was the name? Uh, Righteous and Righteous Righteous and Ratchet podcast with Doughboy and Kev on stage. Okay. All right. So our first topic of one's got to go. You want to explain this to the folks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. Um, so right. Um, I'm sorry. So uh, one's got to go is we choose four things where you pick. If you choose one of them, that has to go. Obviously, whichever one you choose that goes, that that thing that you chose. So say you chose uh, like Leonardo DiCaprio. Now you can't do watch or have anything that, that anything that has anything to do with Leonardo DiCaprio is gone. So you can't watch Gangs of New York. You can't see uh, Catch Me If You Can. Nothing. Nothing in that sense at all. Mm-hmm. So pretty much that's the game. So you end up picking. You end. You start off picking with things that you need to have until you get down to the last two when you make the decision on. Which two you just, which one you just gotta, you just gotta let go. You just gotta let go. So, with that being said, Fred, you wanna give us the four, the first four? Gotcha. All right. So, first thing, first thing we're gonna talk about is cereals. So, our first, for our, so our contenders are. Four go in, one go, one stays and then dies, pretty much. So we have Frosted Flakes, number one, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, number two, we go on. Fruit Fruit Loops, number three, and Cocoa Puffs, number four. One's gotta go. What do you think, Mike? Well, I I gotta keep the cinnamon toast crunch. I really feel like I gotta keep cinnamon toast crunch. I'm, so I'm gonna keep you cinnamon toast crunch. I concur. I agree with you. I think cinnamon toast crunch gotta stay. All right. Next. So for my second pick, what do I have left again? Remind me. We have Frosted Flakes, Fruit Loops, and Cocoa Puffs. I'm gonna have to say Frost and Flakes, man. I, I love milk, Frost and bro. Flakes. A cold with, with some cold, cold milk. Ooh. Yes, ice cold, bro. Ice like cold. Ice cold, right, right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hundred percent agree with that, sir. Hundred percent agree. Yeah, man. So, yeah, so we got problem. Fruit Loops or Cocoa Puffs. One's got to go. Uh, I'm going Fruit Loops all the way. 
I, I love me some some cocoa puffs, but it's gotta be like when I'm in the mood for some cocoa puffs. You know what? This is where we're gonna have to disagree, brother. I'm wow. keeping cocoa puffs. I'm, I'm kicking off fruit loops, you know? over Fruit Loops. Here's the reason why. Here's the reason why. Right? I don't know. I don't, know. I don't understand. All right. When I was younger, it. right? Okay. When I was younger, right? You you remember going to school and then and then having the option of getting chocolate milk or regular milk, right? Yeah. Okay. So with so it, it so it all that matters is what's left over, right? So with Fruit Loops, the milk is just regular milk. You feel me? But with all Cocoa right. Puffs, like the milk turns oh, into oh, chocolate, oh, milk. Oh, dark, oh, like dark chocolate milk. You oh, feel yeah. me? And if you put like if you go two rounds, bro. If you go two rounds, like you know how there's usually sometimes milk left over, like when you're done eating your cereal. But so if you go two rounds, bro, that that milk, bro, becomes like extra chocolate. And then you just eat that all up, right? right? All right, all right, all right. And then, I hear you. Oh. I hear you, but nah, man, I still don't. I still don't feel you. It's why, man? Okay, so why? It's just a more. It's just a more tastier cereal, bro. Just period. That's a better cereal. It's just more tasty. And yeah, I just told you chocolate, bro. It, it, it's the dark chocolate. It tastes like freaking. You're drinking like Nestle, like a ne- like those those Nestle um crunch bars. The watered down ass fucking Nestle. That's what you're talking about, bro. I like it, man. I th- I anyway. think. Well, it's up to you guys. Let us know what you think. What do you guys right. think? You know, right. Off, right. Right. hit us up on Twitter. Hit us up on Twitter. Tell, tell us what you think. Like, which one's got to go? Do you, did you choose um, Frosted Flakes, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Fruit Loops, or Cocoa Puffs? Like, it's, you know, it's your personal choice. And, and tell us, like, why? Why that one? Why that? Why that one? You choose to leave? Why? Because you know? it's cuckoo. one's got to go. He's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. That's why. <laughs> it was good. It's good, man. I'm not gonna fuck, bro. So terrible. That was terrible. That was a terrible joke. <laughs> but uh, next four. All next right. four. Next one. All right. Now this is the most exciting one. Right. This is the most this exciting. One, this episode is gonna have to be short, bro. I have to do a 45 minute one today. All right. No problem. We have yeah. networks, right? So we're gonna be talking about one network has to go. Is that a Disney? Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, and Kids WB. Remember, everything from this network has to go. go. Mike, you go ahead. I'm looking up something right now. I was like, yeah, yeah, we can start again. Um, I'm going to keep just because of the nostalgia, nostalgia, I'm okay. going to keep um, the, the the WB stuff because of the all WB. the like, yeah, okay, all the Looney Tunes and all that stuff that, that they had, it's all great stuff, all great stuff. Okay. Oh, oh my God. Okay. All right. Well, who's, what's what else is staying? I mean, what else is going? I mean, you know, what's uh, go it's ahead. Your turn. Yeah, my turn. Okay. okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna ask you. Oh, oh go. man, this is so hard. Like, <laughs> this is so hard. Um, I would say Nickelodeon stays. I'll tell you right now why. All that. Nickelodeon, Rugrats, Rocco's Modern Life, Hey Arnold, Keenan and Kel. That's all Nickelodeon, bro. You all know, Nickelodeon. I'm like, man. I'm like, man. To all those shows? You. You're insane. You're insane, Mike. You're absolutely insane. You have never watched these shows, then. If that's how you feel about it. You have never watched these shows. But go ahead. Go ahead. I've seen them. I've seen them. I just. Mm, you didn't like, see any. What, what, they, 
Rocco's Modern Life. Rocco's Modern yeah. Life. Rocco's Modern Life. Rocco's Modern Life. You telling me right now? You telling me right that's now? What gonna, that's what you're going to say to me? I'm going to say, say to you, Doug. I'm going to say to you, Cat Dog. Okay? How about all the that, The only one man? you got me how with is Doug. Of the, how, how about Are You Afraid of the Dark? How about Legends... Legends of the Hidden Temple. How about that? Ren and Stumpy. Oh, Angry Bird. Angry Beavers. Real Monsters. You don't come at me, Mike. I know what I'm talking about. I'll, I'll go to the death with this. Okay. I will fight to the death for Nickelodeon. Okay. What's next, bro? We have you fight to the death for Nickelodeon, yeah. buddy. I'll fight to the death for Nickelodeon. We have Disney Channel, Cartoon Network. Well, you already said Kids that would be, and I already said Nickelodeon. So, what else? What's what's staying for you? I think the Disney. I've seen way too much stuff on Disney. Way too many movies that I fell in love with. I mean, I, I gotta say Disney. All right, yeah. I uh, All right, let's see. Oh, Disney shows. Okay, we got DuckTales, Darkwing Duck, Tailspin, Chippendales, Gargoyles, Goofy Trip, Goof Trip, Troop, uh, Recess, Boy Meets World. Wait, that's too many. So bro. weird. How many that's Smart, that's Disney, Smart, right? Yeah, it's Disney, bro. Smart guy. We have the Mighty Ducks. We got X Men, bro. The yeah, man. you gotta stop. You gotta stop. Too bad you're killing them. You're killing them. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay. 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 All right. All right. All right. You know what, bro? Kids WB. I'm going to say Kids WB. So what do you got left? You got Disney and what else? Disney and Cartoon Network left. And you have... And I got... Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon. What you going to choose, man? I got to choose Nickelodeon. You keeping Nickelodeon over Nickelodeon? I mean, art. Oh, my bad. You said Nickelodeon over Cartoon Network? Yes, sir. Okay. So you're giving up. You're willing to give up Powerpuff Girls, Dexter's Laboratory, Ed and Nettie, Johnny Bravo, Cow and Chicken, Courage the Cowley Dog. Do you remember all the stuff you said for for Nickelodeon? Yeah. Yeah, I am. You know what, brother? We We are in agreement right now. Disney Channel staying, Cartoon Network is gone. Cartoon Network is Boom. getting kicked out the door. Boom. Never seen it. Never heard of it. It's I'm gone. Good. You know what? I'm good too. I agree. But damn, I was excited when they first came out. Like like I was Me too. Like, yeah, this is the first channel that because like Nickelodeon at night, they would go into Nick at late night, or like they would go into something else, and I was too young for yeah. that, and I didn't want to watch well, it. I wanted to watch you know, cartoons. You know what we're giving up, though? We were going to be giving up Batman Beyond, Pinky and the Brain, Justice League. Oof. That's just, I mean, Justice League is this. It's hardcore for me. Pokemon The Beginning? We give it a Pokemon. We picking up. We giving up Pokemon, dogs. Ooh, we give it up Pokemon. I don't think I could give up Nickelodeon, though. I don't think I could. Oh my god, we giving up Pokemon. Nah, I'm, I'm giving up Pokemon. I'm, yeah, nah, I, give up, I give us. I give it <laughs> up Pokemon because nah, I can't take out. You can't take out Disney, dog. Disney got. I know Disney owns everything now. I know, yo. Disney got all these movies, all these shows, man. 
they got they got that the original X. But so Disney bro. has to stay. Disney has to stay, bro. Oh God, bro. Disney nah, I, to I gotta stay. I gotta to keep Disney, the WB, because yeah. that's my yeah. child early childhood. Then Disney was my next one. Right. And then and then when I got a little older than that, it was Nickelodeon. Dog, Cartoon Network has to go. Cartoon Network has to go, yeah. I agree with you, brother. I agree, bro. But then oof, that like Pokemon is like so big, bro. So big. And just, you know, we've we've been saying out like, you know, WB and like why why you keep WB? All right, this is why we keeping WB. Okay, we got Animaniacs, the Batman. Okay, the Batman. I mean, Batman the animated series, Batman Beyond. We still got that in WB. Um, Bugs and Daffy. We got the Cat and Bird. We got you know, pretty much um, Pinky in the Brain. Uh, the Dag- Daffy Duck Show. Detention, Freakazoid, Hysteria, Johnny yeah, Test, Crooked the Dog. Yes, detention. Lucha Libre. Shaggy. Static Shock. Superman, the animated series. So at least we keep Superman, right? At least we keep some of the Justice League, time, kind of. We got Teen Titans over here. Uh, Tom and Jerry's Tales. Okay. And then what's new Scooby Doo? Gotta keep that. Gotta keep Scooby Doo, bro. Gotta keep Scooby Doo. The Shaolin Showdown. The Shaolin Showdown. We gotta keep those, bro. You can't you can't get rid of Batman dogs. You can't. Bro, I have my kids working Scooby Doo. Yeah, like exactly, right? You gotta keep you gotta keep WB, bro. You gotta keep WB. It was canceled in two thousand May seventeenth of two thousand eight. Oh no, two thousand eight. And it started in September ninth. No wonder September 9th, 1995. I was like, no wonder I started seeing this junk like right as soon as like school started. I was like, yo, school started and, and, and it just came out. You feel me? All right. Um, that's why because it came out freaking when school started. Anyway, duh. Last Good one. Duh. Horror movies. We got Michael Myers, Jason, Freddy, and it. One's got to go. Um, Michael Myers, Freddy. Michael yeah. Myers, Jason, yeah. Freddy. Yeah, yep. Uh, keep Jason. I gotta keep Jason. You gotta keep Jason. I gotta keep Jason. Keeping. His movie scared me the most. I feel. <laughs> no, no, I like oh, his, no, no, wait, 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 wait. I no, like I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, I'm wrong. It wasn't him. It wasn't him. It was Freddy. It's Freddy. Freddy. Yeah, Freddy's Freddy movies creeped you out. Okay. Yeah, his movies creeped you out the most because okay. he couldn't sleep after that shit. Because he was getting in your dreams. You know what I mean? Okay, I hear you. I would say it creep me out the most bro because god damn bro god damn if that movie never like the original one with um I think it's Tom um Tom Curry right that's the name Tom Curry on um, the first it you know what I'm talking about well freaking clowns freak me out if clowns didn't freak you out when you were young bro Listen. The, one of the newest ones, I can't, I can't, I can't deal with that type of stuff, bro. It was like <laughs> really, really nasty, like you know, like nasty, perverted stuff with kids and shit. Like I wasn't really feeling it. I couldn't even finish watching it, to be honest with you. Yeah, the, yeah, it was the Tim, one, the, Tim Curry. It was Tim Curry, not Tom Curry. Tim Curry. I don't know if that's what he was always about, but this movie was sick. I don't really like it. Didn't what, really it? think it was scary either. Yeah. Not the last one that just came out, the one before this. The first one? No, not the first one. There's there's like three, I think. I know the one that came out. There's one that came out 
recent, recent, like not too long ago. Okay, yeah, yeah, ago. yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. there's one that came out like a year or so ago. All right. That right. the one that came out a year or so ago, I I don't care for it, and I never watched the new one because of that one. That's interesting. Yeah, it's like um, really perverted shit. Uh, yeah, I'm not for it. I was, I was just, it was just not. I was, so I know what movies pretty much leaving you. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Oh. Um, so pretty much it is the one that's that's gonna be gone for you. Yeah, pretty much. We we just ruined that one, but yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. I that's think. The one that's gonna be. I think Michael Myers is the one that's gonna be gone for me, yo. Michael Myers could leave. Mm. I was just never. I think I was just never really afraid of Michael Myers. Just like, yo, just don't go to his house, and that's pretty much all. That's all you really have to do. Just don't. Just get out of his town or get out of his house, and yeah, that's, that's the only thing you have to, say, to do. To get away with him. I would. I would have to agree with you. I'd have to say if I were to go, Jason or Mike Myers, I'd be more afraid of Jason. Yeah, because Jason, like, bro, yeah. he would not die. Like he just refuses to die. Like you can't kill this man. Right. You could just get then away. Again, then again, you get a really powerful hose. Just start hosing him down. He'll probably probably melt right down to the ground. He feels no, it with accident. Sometimes I don't know why. I don't know how this guy figures out always come back. I don't know. Jason's a man. Jason is the man. Jason is definitely is the man. Well, that's 45 minutes, ladies yes. and gents. That's the podcast. That's the show. Once again, thank you for um, listening to us. Um, hope you enjoyed the show. Remember to um, follow us on Twitter on Draft Night Pod. And um, at Draft Night Pod, you will see my face. And um, hopefully just we get some sports for you soon. Yeah. <laughs> There's anything you guys want us to talk about? Just let us know. Maybe we could talk about bowling or something. <laughs> you never know, man. Uh, but, you just um, call bowling a sport? A sport? Bowling is a sport. Uh, they have it on ESPN and everything. It's, well, they have. You didn't know this? They have, uh, they have poker on on ESPN too. That that make it a sport. It's a sport too. Yeah. No, it's not, bro. <laughs> All right. That's what's going to be on the next show. What's a sport and what isn't? <laughs> not poker, that's for sure. All righty. All right, guys. Well, thank you for listening. Mike, right. you have a great night, oh. man. And I'll talk All to right, you baby. soon, all right? All right, man. Take it easy. All right.